That feels better. Oh my God. I feel terrible. <laughs> I feel terrible. Maybe the coffee will help, but this is no jet lag joke. This is not a joke, this jet lag. It is not a joke. Um, 11 hour time change, pretty serious stuff. Yeah, I'm delusional, delirious. I am unwell in the head. I got back two days ago. I don't know. See, the thing is that I had a Saturday of all Saturdays, the longest Saturday I've ever had in my entire life. I started my Saturday at 5 a.m. Thailand time, which is the evening before, I think Friday evening over here. And then I landed Saturday night and I was up all night. I was up all night. And then I was up all day yesterday. I was up all day. I got home at one in the morning and then I proceeded to stay up until 3 a.m. And then I think I might've slept for two and a half hours. And I say, I think, but that's the fact because my aura ring tracked it. It counted it as a nap. And then I couldn't go back to sleep. So I've just been vibing since, I don't know, six, 6.30, it's now nine o'clock. I've crawled myself out of bed. I have a raging headache and everything's a blur. Everything's a blur. I can't believe I just went to Thailand. That was the craziest experience ever. That was crazy. I gotta edit that whole vlog today. Um, I did do a good chunk of editing on the flight, which I'm very thankful for because my brain is not at 100. <laughs> I'm not doing the best, but maybe the coffee's gonna help. It's gotta help. It's got to help. It's also freezing in the house because I don't think I don't think it's working right now. I gotta reset it downstairs, but just something I'm putting off and I'd rather put on some layers. Guys, this is gonna be a weird vlog. This is gonna be a weird vlog. So welcome to the jet lag experience. Here we go again. It's literally 10 a.m. and I'm having a second cup. That's when you know. I never have two cups of coffee a day. I'm just on FaceTime with my parents. Hadn't talked to them since getting back. So now it's 10 o'clock and I'm finally gonna start my work. First thing on the agenda is to finish editing and sending in my deliverables for the Thailand trip because you know, the trip was in exchange for a certain amount of content. So I gotta figure out exactly what I'm doing there and then send all that in. And then I'm editing the Thailand vlog and those are my two main priorities for the day. Those are, those are number two. And I feel like if I just like really push through here for the next few hours, I can get it done. Maybe more than a few hours. I don't know, we're gonna see. But I have dinner plans with Sarah tonight, which I'm really excited about. I haven't seen her since we left LA. So we are in need of a big girly catch up night. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see her. Mmm. It's 12.40. I've gotten my deliverables done for the Thailand trip. That's good. That needed to get done for sure. I'm posting my Thailand vlog tomorrow, but I don't know if I can do it today. I've been just staring at all the footage and I like can't, my brain. It's not straight right now. Anyways, I got some groceries. Baby spinach, lettuce, kale, chicken broth, egg whites, rice, cottage cheese, Greek yogurt, avocados, lemonade mio, and then some hard boiled eggs. I'm not doing well. But I did want to show you guys what I got in Thailand. We were at the airport. We were walking to the lounge and we saw all these bags. We were like, these are so nice. So I got a little purse. It's my little Thailand souvenir. I can always be like, this little bag is from Thailand. It's like a little Bottega vibe. So cute. I feel like it's such a nice size. I don't have any bags that are like this. It was like super cheap. I think this was like 50 bucks. And it's so nice. It actually feels really solid. And I just think it's cool to be like, yeah, this is my special little Thailand bag. Might've been from the airport, but it was still from Thailand nonetheless. Rachel also got one. She got like this cute little blue one. And then we were also with Nezra and she got a cute little yellow bag. Three of us were like, well, we all gotta do it. Oh God. <laughs> Jet lag is no joke. Like this just brain fog is unfucking believable I don't even know what to do with myself. I feel like my brain isn't clear enough to read. I think all I can do is sit. 
You know the jet lag is real when I fall asleep on the couch. I do not nap. I am not a napper. I just fell asleep on the couch. But I have dinner with Sarah in like an hour and a half. So I'm actually just gonna get myself ready now. Leaving here in 30 minutes. 20 minutes. I gotta get dressed. I hope this doesn't like totally screw me by having a shot of a double shot of espresso at 6:30. I don't know. I'm gonna do it anyway, so it's also fucking freezing in my house right now. I realized this morning that my thermostat wasn't working, but I just didn't do anything about it. But like my feet are actually frozen. And so I was like, okay, maybe I should go down to the breaker. Flip the switch. It just turned back on. It's 58 degrees in here. That's colder than it ever should be. Ever should be. I'm a mess. I'm a mess out here right now. We are not doing well. <laughs> it's like, it's just, I feel fucked up. <laughs> this is fucked up. Okay. Oh my God, the warmth of this though is so nice. Somehow we're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> we're heading out. We're gonna go meet Sarah. It's gonna be a wonderful night. We actually have so much to talk about. So much to catch up on. It's gonna be really, really fun. And our dinner's at seven. So I think I should be home like 9.30, right into bed. Hopefully, hopefully go to bed at like a reasonable hour. I need like a night of sleep. I need it. Anyways, let's go. Hello. It's a Diet Coke night for the girls. <laughs> Success. That was a, such a nice night out. Honestly, it was so good seeing Sarah. We just had our Diet Cokes, which was perfect. I got some leftovers, clearly. And then we walked to Shoppers to get some stuff. We both needed some makeup wipes. And I got some other stuff too, makeup wipes. And then I got this bubble bath stuff because I think that I'm out of bubbles and I'm getting into a bath like immediately. This is Eucalyptus Aromatic Foam Bath. And then lastly, I got Extra Strength Sleep Melatonin Gummies. I need to sleep. My parents were raving about the Ollie ones in Florida. They, my dad said he had four and like had the craziest sleep of his entire life. So he did say that he felt hungover the next day. And I think that feeling like hungover would be better than not sleeping again. So we'll see, I'm not gonna have four, but I think I'm gonna take these in like 30 minutes and I'll like be in the bath for 30, take this, get into bed. And then with an hour, hopefully it lights out. Why does this look like mouthwash? Guys, I slept for 10 hours last night. 10 hours. I don't know if it was the melatonin gummy or if it was just exhaustion and lack of sleep catching up to me. I don't know, but I didn't set an alarm this morning. I was like, you know what? If my body lets me sleep, I really, that's in my best interest. So I didn't set an alarm and I actually woke up to a stupid scam caller. I don't know if I would have slept more. Like, I don't know. All I know is that 10 hours is a long time, but I don't feel like groggy today. I don't feel like the hangover from the gummies. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I just got up. <laughs> it seems I spoke too quickly because I most certainly have been so groggy today. It's starting to fade a little bit, which is good because I'm actually leaving the house in like an hour and a half. I have been working today though, which is good. And this vlog is actually sponsored by BetterHelp. You guys know on this channel, we are big supporters of anything mental health. I always talk to you guys about what's going on in my life, the ups, the downs. You guys have seen me go through so many different life stages in the last 10 years, 11 years actually of YouTubing. We share everything over here. And I think it's really important to keep the conversation going, talk about therapy and just destigmatize it even more. I think talking about therapy and, you know, just mental health in general is huge. It makes such a difference. I have so many friends that are in therapy and talk about it and just share the tools they've learned through therapy. Obviously when I did therapy, I learned a lot of different 
coping mechanisms and just ways to deal with anxieties or you know things coming up in your life and it's also just really nice to have somebody to talk to about what's going on in your life that's going to be completely unbiased i think better health is a really great option if you're looking into therapy it's more affordable than traditional therapy and i feel like the cost is usually a huge deterrent as to why people don't seek therapy and like try to help themselves so i just think better help is a really great option if you are looking to give therapy a shot i have a link that has a discount code for you guys on top of that you can go to betterhelp.com answer some questions about what you're going through what you need and they'll match you up with a licensed professional that is best suited for you you can do it all from your phone or your computer you can message you can video chat you can you know there's so many options and as mentioned if you use my link to sign up you'll get a little special discount for your first month i'm gonna have a link down below i think i'm just doing skincare today despite going out i think we're just gonna keep it like this because i'm a tired girl and I'm just going to my parents' house. I do need to get dressed though, because I'm in my pajamas plus this cardigan on top. It's also snowing. It looks like winter, even though today is the first day of spring. Anyways, today is my mom's birthday, so I'm actually going over to their house. We were gonna go out for dinner, like that was the plan, but my mom just wants to order in Thai food. And I was like, sign me up, like here for the Thai food. Like I am most certainly not sick of it. I don't think I could ever get sick of it, honestly. I love Thai food. So we got some curry tonight, some coconut rice. It's gonna be lovely. Just a nice low key birthday in at home with the three of us plus Brady. Unfortunately, my brother is still living in Montreal. So he will not be attending, but gonna be a great night with the fam. I haven't seen them since I got back from Thailand. So that'll be really nice. Just like catch up in person. I FaceTimed them yesterday, but I haven't seen them. So should be lovely. I'm gonna go over there at like six, should be home at a nice hour go to bed early hopefully i don't know i'm not gonna take the melatonin again tonight i'm gonna try to like just do the sleep thing naturally <laughs> and see how i am tomorrow i'm hoping i wake up at like an 80 percent back to normal tomorrow we'll see i feel confident that it's it's improving also i'm unfortunately not getting my thailand vlog up today like i planned my brain is just 50 percent slower than it needs to be so editing is just taking longer and then also i feel like my final cut is causing me so many issues right now if you have any advice if any of you use final cut like let me know what to do about this because almost every time i make a cut or I, like i add text it freezes and then i get a little spinny wheel of death for like a good five to ten seconds and it just really it cuts up the flow which is very frustrating because if i get into a good workflow like i can just you know, I can get it done a lot quicker, but having these like five to 10 second freezes is really frustrating. So if you have any advice, let me know. I don't know what to do about it. But yeah, I'm looking outside, it's snowing. <sighs> Maybe I'll get dressed and then I'll just edit until I leave. That feels like a good idea. I'm gonna do that. There she is. There's my little tiny doggy. I missed you. Hi, hi, smile. She was smiling. You Come on, let's go upstairs. Let's go see mom. Let's go see mom. Happy birthday. <laughs> you Santa Claus back out because it's winter time? Go on the go the All right guys, it is 9.30, we're home. I am so tired. Trend and theme of the vlog. Oh, I gotta take my vitamins, hold on. This is truly the ADD talking. If I didn't do it immediately, I was going to forget to take all my things and then I'd be upset with myself. I'm trying to take everything daily now that I'm back. We got iron, we got multivitamin, we have vitamin C, we have B12, <laughs> we got symbiotic. And then I always finish off with the gummy B12. Cause like a snack. <laughs> Lovely night. The food was so good. The curry was insane. The pad thai was insane. Like I love Thai food, but I'm exhausted. I feel so tired. Like even though I slept a solid 10 hours last night, it was melatonin sleep. And I feel like that didn't hit the same way like a real genuine deep sleep would have hit. So I'm excited to get into bed. I'm just gonna read my book. I'm almost done. Well, I'm at like 78% in A Court of Mist and Fury. So I really want to finish that this week. I get in bed and like wind down and read that. But I also was opening some packages that I got while I was away. I got this package from Armani. We have some eye tint shimmers or no, eye tint matte, eye tint shimmer. It looks like we got two matte, two shimmers. Long wear luminous liquid eyeshadow. We have this shade. Let's just see all of these actually. Ooh, nice smoky. We got like a pink. It's like a sparkly pink. And then lastly, just a nice shimmery color. Sometimes I can't believe that I get PR from brands like Armani. Like that's crazy. I also have these. Should we just open them now? And then I can like do a clean tomorrow when I'm freshly rested, maybe. What is this? Ow. We got Levi's. Oh my God. We have the low rise ample bass. 
feel like these are gonna be a try on not today though or maybe i'll do it before i put my pajamas on we also got these these are the baggy dad mid rise I'm getting darker shades these days and i think this might also be Levi's. Yes, it's a pair of shorts. The 501 shorts, high rise in this darker color. Maybe we'll try them on upstairs. Got a package from NYX. Kind of giving me throwbacks to when I was in the NYX Face Awards in like 2014. And I got the most massive packages from NYX. What do we have? Oh, we got the Duck Plump. This is like their new plumping lip gloss. And apparently like extreme amounts of plump. And then we have this guy. Oh, this was supposed to be for my trip to Thailand, but didn't get here in time. Oh my God, what's gonna be in here? Oh, so many good things. What a bummer. I'll just show you one of the things and I'll save the rest of it for another trip. But look at this dress. I was like, this is gonna be so gorgeous. It's so nice. Well, it's also really long, so maybe I'll get a tailor. I think I'm gonna get all my stuff tailored now so it just fits correctly. Big game changer. There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, we'll save the rest of this for another trip. <sighs> Anyways, thank you to the brands for sending me stuff. Always such a cool opportunity. <laughs> but let's go upstairs. Let's try on these jeans before I put on comfy clothes. I'm not leaving the house at all tomorrow. So it'll be just a cozy day for me. Cozy clothes only. Okay, sorry if you can hear my air purifier in the back. But let's try on, let's try on the jeans. We got the baggy dad. I'm currently wearing the wedgie jeans. They're Levi's. Hot buttons undone. Because I was eating a lot of curry. Okay, baggy dad. They're definitely a little bit big, but they feel comfy, like really, really comfy. Like I would almost wear these on a plane, but I don't know if they look good. <laughs> I don't know if they're flatter, I cannot see because the viewfinder is very small and kind of far away now. So I don't know, but they're definitely super comfy. These are a size 25. The other pair I have, these ones are 24. I did size up so they would sit lower, but yeah. What do we think? Let me know. I will link them. Anyways, let's try on the low loose. These are in fact low rise. Like the way I'm zipping them, I'm like, oh, it's a very short zipper. I'm not used to that. <laughs> what do we think of these ones? I feel like they look really wide. Like wearing them with boots maybe. And lastly, the 501 shorts. I got these in the 25. Okay, so these definitely fit, but I feel like I could have maybe sized down to the 24, but I also kind of like that they're, they're not as snug, especially because they're short. Like I can't have like a really tight and short short <laughs> especially because my go-to shorts right now are kind of longer these feel kind of short but nice to have like a medium wash for summer anyways that's my denim haul <laughs> i will link the levi's down below but i'm going to put on my pajamas and i'm crawling in i'm a reading <laughs> and i am not taking another one of these because i cannot wake up feeling the way i felt this afternoon all right guys we've made it i got my starlight on always a vibe i'm gonna link it down below putting on my little lip mask before bed this is the tatcha one it's uh i don't know either way it's super thick and it feels so nice and the packaging is also so cute look how cute and little this is i love it also got my pillow spray from bath and body works the sleep vanilla and lavender spray anything to help me have a good sleep i will take and last but not least my book we're gonna turn down the lights cozy it up in here and i'm hoping tomorrow is a better day. Today was a good day, but the grog, the jet lag, it's been a rough few days for sure, but obviously all worth it for the trip that I just had. Like that was such an insane trip. I still, I don't think I'll ever actually fully grasp that I had that experience. That one was too much. That was too much for me, <laughs> but it was amazing. I loved every second. I'm happy to be home, home for another few weeks. And then we have our apparently now yearly trip with the fam. That's in April, but Got a nice few weeks at home here, which is gonna be really, really nice. So that's really it for today's vlog. I'm gonna start another one tomorrow. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Welcome home. Happy to have you here. Hope you enjoyed the Thailand vlogs. If you haven't seen them, definitely go watch. They're gonna be linked down below. That's it for today. I love you so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.